Uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yudi. Um, today, okay, we can't move past without adjusting the elephant in the room. I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but we're back now. So yeah, let's just move on past that. Today, we're going to be talking about sister locks and um, everything you need to know about your consultation and your installation. So without further ado, let's pull up some notes. Okay, first things first. What I would highly recommend you do when you're looking for a consultant is to go to the Sister Locks webpage. They have one, it's a little old, it's kind of like outdated in a way. It looks, it just looks like it was made in like 1995. Uh, it is pretty resourceful because that shows you all the trainees and the consultants on there. The trainees are people who haven't done at least three heads, I believe, like three heads of hair. And um, the consultants, have done at least three heads of hair. If I'm incorrect, somebody like let me know in the comments. Number two, so I'd highly recommend you typing in sister locks in your city to be able to find sister locks uh, consultants that are in your city. Now, some of them might not be under registry, so they may not be registered on the sister locks website, but they were still trained to do sister locks, but they might not be like certified anymore. So you can kind of like figure out if that's somebody you want to go with or if you're like no they have to be on the website they have to be currently registered it's just up for debate with yourself i guess the one thing i do highly recommend being very cognizant of is scammers there are so many scammers so when i was on facebook and i was looking through like the sister locks and micro lock groups there were a lot of people who whenever you would ask oh hey is there somebody in my city and state that can do sister locks uh, some people would respond but then some people would be like be careful this person is a scammer and I don't know why they didn't get kicked out of the group but they should have um, so yeah just kind of keep your your eyes out for that because of course people are gonna be scamming for your consultation have more than one person in your pocket for a, cons a consultant basically um, I had two people so originally I went with one lady because I loved her work I didn't read her website I just said okay click we're gonna have a consultation her consultation was like $85 which was which is pretty up there for a consultation fee and then I went to her website and I was like oh. I checked the prices and I was kind of shook because I was like oh I didn't see this if I would have seen this I would not have signed up to do her consultation so make sure you kind of do your own like due diligence and go through their website and see as much as you could find out about like their prices and their services and whatnot. Um, I did end up going with the second lady, so I canceled that. I didn't even go to the first consultation, to be honest. I canceled my first one and then I went to the second lady and that's who installed my locks as well. And I'll show you guys like kind of how my um, consultation went. I have a short up already. I have a short up for my consultation and then my installation. But yeah, the same lady who did my consultation did my installation and um, it was just it was just one person. Okay, number four, I would say make sure when you do go to your consultation that the vibes are right. If they're being weird and they're just trying to shove prices in your face without like being personable about it and like kind of if they're like shifty or something, you kind of get the vibe that something is like off. I would just maybe cut your losses and go to someone else. I know that's money spent, but you would rather somebody who, or someone who seems genuine to do your hair rather than someone who's kind of just like, okay, here are my prices, and they kind of try and rush and get you out the chair, and that's your consultation. It's just kind of like, mm. Yeah, I would just I would just make sure that the vibes are, are very right, and like the area that you're in is clean, and um, if they have reviews, look up reviews, look at people who have already been there if you can, and I would highly recommend you just Try and do as much research on the person before and after you get the consultation with them. Five should be your questions. Um, I think you should have a list of questions. When I went to my consultation, I had so many questions in my head and written down, and she like answered so many of them before I even asked them, so I was like, okay, perfect. And then I had a couple more questions I would recommend that you ask is, can I see the tool that you use? You don't need to see it. I would just make sure that they are actually using the sister lock tool. It's kind of like, okay, if you're paying the price to get sister locks and they're not using the sister lock tool, why are you paying that price, you know? Or like, what else are they cutting corners on if they're not even using the right tool? 
So you can ask that. I would say number two for me would be um, how much are your reties? Every lactation has a different price from what I've seen and it varies from, from what I've seen like I would say 100 to 200. I haven't seen anything less than that but that's just from what I've like looked at on like Facebook and like Instagram and stuff like that. Number four would be how long does the establishment take? I would say just go in with your in your mind. Have this in your mind. It's gonna take at least three days. I would say at least three days, unless your hair is very very short. It might take one day, but for me, it took me four days. You see, and I have like I've got a pretty good head of hair, and my the length of hair I started with was 12 to 13 inches. So it was uh, like longer than this, of course, but it took me four days. <laughs> Number five would be how long have you been doing sister locks and how many installs have you done? And they might not even have an exact number of installs because if they've been doing hair for like years and years and years, that's something that it's like, okay, you can kind of just like take their word for it and like look on their Instagram and see, okay, well, they've act they actually do a good job. Number six, you should ask what is included in your establishment package. Now, if you've done your research, you should already know. I asked this too. I already knew what was gonna be in it, but it's just kind of like, a, okay, if they're like trying to like short you on something, um, you just kind of like go the other way. Go with somebody else, you know? It, it should be the Sister Lock Starter Kit, which is like the shampoo, rubber bands, and then some instructions. And it should be, it should include your consultation, your installation, and your first retie. Those three things should be included in the complete price that they quote you. If those three things are not in there, plus the little, the kit, uh, run, <laughs> run away. Because like they, that that should actually be included. That all those, you're paying for those three things so you should be getting those three things. And I don't know if wash is included in that. They might include it, they might not. So just kind of like, I don't know, keep that in mind. And that's it. That's the entire video of like what you need for your consultation. I hope you guys liked it. Please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.